Endotracheal cuff pressure. The endotracheal tube is the tube inserted through the mouth into the trachea to facilitate ventilation or breathing in a patient. If you have seen an ET tube, you already know that there is a cuff near its tip, which is inflated with air after intubation. But do you know the function of cuff in ET tube? Do you know what is normal cuff pressure to be maintained for the endotracheal tube? What happens if the cuff is overinflated or underinflated? Let me quickly answer these questions for you to make things easy while working with the ET tube. The cuff in ET tube is usually inflated with air to create a cuff pressure of 20 to 30 cm water. When the cuff pressure of the ET tube falls below 20 cm water, it is called underinflation. And when the cuff pressure is more than 30 cm water, it is overinflated. Now this cuff of ET tube is designed to actually seal the airway of the patient. This sealing allows air to enter only through the ET tube, while it prevents secretions from the pharynx to enter the trachea from around it. If secretions from the pharynx enters the trachea, they may lead to serious infection in the patient and can prove to be quite fatal. Now this might be the case for underinflation, but even overinflation isn't good for the patient. This is because when overinflated, the cuff presses onto the tracheal tissues which can lead to ischemia of the oropharyngeal and tracheal mucosa. This can in turn also cause subglottic stenosis, scarring, hoarseness, nerve damage, tracheoesophageal fistula, pressure necrosis of laryngeal mucosa and tracheal damage. Thus, Cuff pressure of ET tube have to be maintained within normal range and patients should be monitored to assess for signs and symptoms of any complications that may develop from the ET tube or its cuff. Thank you for tuning in to Layman's Medicine. For more such videos, please do like and subscribe our channel.